हरे कृष्णा रेजिस्टिंग टेम्पटेशन वाइल होल्डिंग ऑन टू अटैचमेंट्स इज लाइक फाइटिंग एन एनिमी वाइल स्टेइंग शैकल्ड सपोज somebody has been caught by their enemy and has been bound with ropes and if they have an opportunity to break free from the ropes and fight with the enemy naturally the first thing they would do is will try to break free from the ropes somehow or the other then they will be able to fight with the enemy but if they stay shackled their arms are tied their feet are tied and if they try to fight with the enemy they will be extremely limited so the first things first in fighting an enemy is first fight the shackles that are binding a person then we can fight the enemy so when we practice spiritual life often we fight a war against illusion and temptation and there are certain immoral anti spiritual temptations that we want to resist but often when we resist those temptations we do not fight off our shackles what are the shackles the shackles are our attachments now what is the difference between an attachment and a temptation uh, attachment refers to an internal conception of what is enjoyable and a temptation is an external opportunity to indulge in a particular enjoyable thing say for example somebody is attached to cricket that means they think oh cricket is such an enjoyable game and then there is a temptation there is a cricket match going on now as long as they are attached that means they hold on to the conception that this is enjoyable to resist it will be very difficult because we all are naturally pleasure seeking and if we believe that something is pleasurable and then we have to say no to it oh, you can't do this it becomes very difficult you might do it for some time but eventually you will succumb to it so the bhagavad gita tells us as long as we don't change our conceptions of pleasure we will always be prone to temptation in 2.59 it is said vishaya vinivartante niraharasya dehinah rasavarjam rasopyasya param drushtva nivartate vishaya vinivartante even if we stay away from the sense objects niraharasya dehina we will feel as if we are starving nirahara will not be able to stay away from it long for long rasavarjam rasopyasya even if we give it up the craving will remain but param drushtva nivartate when we get a higher vision when we get a higher taste nivartate we'll be able to break free from it will be able to stay in the renounced position what does getting a higher taste mean or a higher vision mean it means understanding that there are better joys available in life the bhagavad gita introduces us to this higher life and the higher joys available over there by connecting with krishna by absorbing ourselves in his beauty and his sweetness through the process of bhakti when we experience this higher joys even if we get a slight taste of these higher joys and we internally accept okay this is a much higher pleasure this is what is actually enjoyable and this is what i want to pursue in my life that inner conviction if we develop that is like breaking free from the shackles once we have broken free from the shackles of our attachments we will find resisting temptation will become much easier and not only easier gradually it will become more relishable because we will be absorbing ourselves in krishna and relishing higher joy thereof thank you hare krishna